close files are then destroyed. I may know that as for the document itself. It was sweet relief for former Alego Usonga, a member of parliament, Otieno Marco Nyango, after the High Court in Nairobi ruled in his favor in a case pitting him against the state and former President Daniel Arap Moi. The former MP, who was working as a journalist with the Standard newspapers at the time of the coup, had sued the state for unlawfully detaining him for four years without preferring any charges against him. Marco Nyango, who had been detained alongside Prime Minister Raila Odinga, was seeking two billion shillings as compensation for the suffering he underwent. In his submissions during the case, the former legislature argued that he was arrested at the age of 35 while working as a journalist, and as a result, he lost his gainful employment following the abrupt arrest. But the court ruled that the government should pay him 20 million shillings as damages. It has been such a long journey that there's no, no simpler word can be able to re effectively compensate for what I've had to go through. Marco Nyango's case was one among over 20 cases of yesteryear's detention survivors. Last year, 30 victims of the infamous Nyayo House torture chambers in Nairobi were awarded a total of 126 million shillings by the High Court for the suffering they underwent in the hands of police officers. In 2010, the High Court also ordered the government to pay another group of 21 victims a sum of 36 million shillings for wrongful detention. But perhaps the largest award issued by the court is a sum of two billion shillings to former Deputy Director of Intelligence Stephen Moravey. Lady Justice Jean Gasheshe had ordered former President Moy to personally compensate Moravey for ordering his unlawful detention. Moravey had claimed that during his detention, a lot of his property, among them corner house situated within Nairobi, was sold off. Moy has, however, appealed against the decision. Meanwhile, five GSC officers have been charged in court for causing grievous bodily harm to a teenager. The five are accused of beating up and injuring Joseph Kakudo Kipo at the Kerita GSU camp on the 19th of January 2009. They denied the charges and were released on a cash bail of 500,000 shillings each. Yusuf Ibrahim, Citizen Weekend.